Hey, what's up golf community? This is Tate from Pin High Golf. Uh, I'm gonna do a quick video about the Srixon Z-Star XV golf ball today. Uh, this is gonna be the main focus. So uh, appreciate you clicking on the video. Assuming you like to golf, uh, feel free to subscribe if you, if you find this video useful. Uh, so today we're just gonna be, I just really wanted to touch on the Srixon Z-Star XV. Um, it's a ball that kind of really actually shocked me. Um, I was very biased. Um, I like to kind of, I've always kind of liked to play different balls just because um, I like to see what's out there. Uh, knowing that the Pro V1, TP5, you know, the mainstays in the, in the game are, you know, you can always rely on them. But um, when I played the Srixen, it just, it just really blew my mind. So I'm going to make this video quick and we can see uh, what your thought what your thoughts are at the end of the video and hopefully you can go out and try some yourself this is no way shape or form like sponsored by Strixen or anything um if, if they want to send me some balls feel free okay so first thing about the ball that you're going to notice or at least that i notice is they just i don't know they look like cheaper balls you know what i mean because they've got that uh the the balls, like the Pro V1s and the TP5s, this is the TP5X, um, they've got like that blue tint to the urethane that almost, it, it's it's like you kind of, when you see it, you know it's like a softer urethane. Um, the Srixen doesn't have that. It's more of just a flat white. I'm trying to get it as best I can on the video. I'm sure you can see it or have seen it in person, but they've got more of that flat white color, similar to what like a top flight or like something like that would have. Um, with that being said, the cover on the Srixen compared to any other ball, Pro V1, TP5, Bridgestones, is way softer. Promise you. The Srixen's covers, their urethane, is way, way softer than any other ball. You can, you can immediately feel it. Um, trying to dig your fingers in when when you're on a hot summer day you know you can really get you know the balls are really warm you can really dig your finger into it with the with the tp5s and the pro v1s like they just feel great these are on a different level okay that's just the first thing i wanted to point out the covers on these balls are on a different level completely um they're so soft in fact that this one um, this scuff right here, I've hit it one time, okay? This is a brand new ball. I hit it one time, and it, it literally took... I wish I had my wedge over here because it literally took some of the cover off with one hit. Um, that's just part of the marker. But yeah, so one time, see if I can get any closer. I don't think so. It left a scuff. So as you can imagine... This ball, one ball, so, you know, last year around, you're going to start seeing like those cracks run throughout that aren't really like cracks, but they're just like dirty marks that you can't really rub off. So that kind of thing. Okay, so that's really important to some people. I could care less, to be honest, like to get a softer cover, if I got to play a different ball every round or every other round, that's completely fine to me. Like the spin that you get with these due to that softer cover is just around the greens um is astronomical and that's really the biggest thing um the biggest advantage that i see between the srixen and the other balls now completely different subject here let me just pull in a couple other balls up so typically um players are either going to want a softer ball like the bridgestone xs you know they got the they got the the x model as well tp5 or tp5x okay so this is very important as well this is um in related to like compression and spin and stuff so you play the x you want a little more spin on your irons it's going to be a little firmer ball um it's going to spin a little high, come off a little higher launch with the irons now typically if i'm going to recommend a ball to a, like a newer player um it's it's a lot of it comes down to feel you know what you prefer for feel a lot of players like the really softer balls like the bridgestone but what i will say is that i think a lot of amateurs could benefit from that extra spin off the irons especially when you're talking about a uh a 
premium ball like the TP5X, whereas the cover's still soft and you're still getting that spin around the greens. I think that's probably where this, um, this the Srixen will come into, this is where the Srixen will come in, is that um, if you prefer a softer feeling ball, but you want the benefits of higher spinning off of the irons, you're going to want to play the Srixen because it's really hard to explain because the Srixen is the perfect middleman between these balls right here. I'm going to, I'm going to explain why. I really wish I could play this ball, but it's just too soft for me. It feels like a bouncy ball off the face, especially off on the putter. I like to be able to feel a little click, you know, so then I'd go into the TP5 and I'd be like, well, gosh, this it feels like a rock, you know? And then I played this and it was like, and I had played the Z-Star before and I'm gonna, I'm gonna be uh, straight off the bat, the Z-Star is very soft. Um, it's, I had played the Z-Star before, I had never played the XV, but the Z-Star was super, super, super soft. It felt like a bouncy ball, similar to like a Chrome Soft or something. So that is, was just out of the picture for me immediately. Um, but the Srixen XV, what's really interesting about this ball is that the compression on this ball is similar to like a Pro V1 or a TP5. So it's similar to more of like um, a normal um, three-piece ball, if you will, like a, like a non-X model. Um, but it still has the characteristics of an X model in that it spins higher off the irons. Um, it feels a little, it has like a click off of it. It's, it's hotter off the face than a typical ball like this that compresses a whole bunch. And, and that's like a lot of the reason players like to go to the X is because it's hotter. It's a, it's a more, it's a firmer ball. So it's hotter off the face. It's hotter off the face. Um, and players like that. And what's interesting about the Srixen is this is also hot off the face, but the compression isn't too clicky. You know what I mean? So it's like the perfect middleman for exactly what I think a lot of golfers are looking for. And not only that, but you're getting the cover that is much softer. And it's got, um, I do have the box here, you know, it's got the spin skin. Um, can't tell you exactly what that is, but I, I don't know. I think it's some kind of spray they put on it. They spray it with something. Um, not sure if that wears off, but I, all I know is the cover is, um, very, very soft. So we can run through the box here. You know, it says the XV, you probably can't even read this, but it says it's for distance. Um, so the typically with all the X model balls, they're going to be branded for distance. But like I said, this ball is a perfect middle ball. Um, the compression on this, I want to say is around like that 100 to 104, 105, which is what like a Titleist Pro V1 is, I believe. Um, the Srixen Z Star, not the XV is like, I want to say it's more like 90 or even below. It's super soft. Um, so just a quick rundown on the box. This is the new model for 2021, by the way. The box is kind of cool. They kind of have these like, it's, it's like grainy. You can feel it. Very cool. Um, so yeah, that's my rundown of the Strixen XV. I think it's a really good ball. Um, like I said, the biggest benefactor here is going to be the, the cover. It's super soft. And not only that, but it, since it's an X model ball, it's going to spin a little higher off the irons, um, giving you that launch, helping you get it up into the air. Um, it's not going to be that piercing, um, really like a player's ball. It's going to be a little bit more forgiving. And it's not going to be that. And with that being said, you know, you're still going to get the benefits of not like a super clicky ball. It's got a slight click to it. Um, it's, it's, it feels really hot off the face, which I love, um, but you still get that super, super nice spinny feel around the greens. And that's what a lot of players are going for. Thank you for watching this video today. Um, hope you subscribe to the channel. Looking forward to getting out there and golfing. We're still um, getting to the end of March here. Hoping uh, April's a better month uh, 
temperature wise so we can get out there and start hitting some balls get on the course making some course vlogs uh, so feel free to subscribe have a great day